I have hundreds of filters and almost all of them are either neutral density or polarizers. This is a polarizing filter and when you put it on a lens and turn it, this is what happens. If the sun is shining, I use polarizing filters in almost every photo shoot I do. People keep asking me what brand of ND filter I use and polarizing filter. Well, it's not really that simple. It actually depends on what type of camera you're using and what type of lens you're using because you're dealing with light and glass. And it's not just the brand of camera. For example, Sony, the A1 has the, the colors a little too red. The A3, the colors are more golden, which is really good for skin tones, whereas the A7R5, a little too on the cyan blue side. So when you put a piece of glass over the front of that, it changes and either gets enhanced or changed. And then it also depends what type of lens you're using, because lenses have a whole bunch of different pieces of glass in there. It depends where that glass was made and what color characteristics this has. So it has a lot to do with the lens. And it's not just the brand of lens. It also has to do with particular lenses, like the same brand of lens can have three different lenses that react three different ways when you put a filter on the front. It's not like one brand is better than another because what might be really bad on this lens with this sensor might be actually pretty good for this camera and this sensor and this lens. So it's not as simple, this brand is the best, use this one. For example, here's an A7 III with a Zeiss 85 and a Breakthrough X4 CPL. Here's the same camera, same lens with a ProMaster HGX CPL. Here's the Breakthrough X4 again, and here's the ProMaster HGX. Breakthrough, ProMaster, Breakthrough, ProMaster. All right, this is the ProMaster HGX, and here's a ProMaster HGX Prime. Same camera, same lens, same brand of polarizing filter, but look at the difference between the HGX and the HGX Prime. The more expensive HGX Prime looks too yellow for this camera and this lens. Now here's the same camera, same three filters, but instead of a Zeiss 85, this is a Sony 55 1.8. These are two different lenses with the same filters. When you go back and forth, you can see the differences. I don't use uh, polarizing filters in the normal way that most people do. An ND filter is pretty simple. It just darkens the image. And the reason you want to do that is let's say you're outside and you want to blow or the background from you know, shallow depth of field. F2, F1.8. So I'm going to show you what happens. Let's take a normal picture. That's too bright. It's F3.5. It's too bright. So you have to adjust the shutter speed as fast as possible to make the image darker. The shutter speed on this camera maxes out at 4,000. That's pretty good. But let's say I want to make it darker. For that, I would use an ND filter and that makes the sky darker. Now I got the sky darker, but the face is too dark. So we bring in a flash and uh, illuminate the face. Okay, so now we have the face illuminated and the sky dark. It's actually a really nice d clear day today with the wind, so the sky is really blue. Sometimes the sky is like just white, like there's no color to it. But let's say you wanna add color to the sky, you wanna make it really blue. That's where I use the polarizing filter. So sometimes I use an, a combination of ND and polarizer, but today I don't need the ND filter. I'm just going to use the polarizer. The polarizer itself already darkens the picture by one and a half to two stops. So the polarizer is both kind of an ND filter and a polarizer. Now polarizers are normally used to lower reflections in windows and glass and water and stuff like that. I don't use it for that. I use it to make the sky more blue. It will only work if the light is hitting the lens from a certain direction. Now if I'm aiming right at the sun or in the direction of the light, it's not going to do anything. If, I, if the sun is to my side, either this way or this way, because the sun's right there, then you start to see the effect. And it also works if, you're, if the sun is behind you. So what you do, you turn the filter and watch what happens to the sky. Watch this. And I'm gonna turn the filter. Oh, look at that. See how much it darkened just by turning the filter? That's what I use polarizing filters for. It darkens the blue part of the sky, but it doesn't really change anything else. And it doesn't really affect the person or the foreground. Do it in this direction. Yeah. It works a little bit when you're aiming in the direction of the sun. Let's do it in this direction. Look at that. Yeah. So let's take some pictures with the flash and the polarizing filter. The foreground's not darkening, just the sky is. That's normal. Now I'm darkening the sky. 
Now, I know I'm over darkening the sky. I'm just trying to show you what you can do with a polarizing filter. So what brands do I use? That's what you really want to know, right? Well, remember, my cameras and my lenses might have different results than yours. So it's not like this brand is best for everybody. But I'm not crazy about Tiffin or BW, any of those other brands. What I find works best for me is for ND filters, I find that Breakthrough is the best. They're the most color neutral, highest quality ND filter that works for me. They're not cheap, but they're really good. So whenever I need an ND filter, I use Breakthrough X4 if possible. But I don't like Breakthrough polarizers. For that, I like to use ProMaster HGX. And I don't like ProMaster ND filters. For that, I use Breakthrough. So I use a different brand for my NDs than I do for the CPLs. All right, two things I know you're going to ask. No, I do not use, nor do I recommend variable ND filters. They're just nowhere near the quality of a dedicated ND filter, just like a prime lens is better than a zoom lens. Same thing with dedicated filters. Second thing is, I know you're going to ask, why don't you just have one big filter and just have step-up rings to go for that? First of all, it's annoying. No, I don't want to do that. And secondly, I travel a lot and these act as protectors. So I have a CPL and an ND for each size of the lens that I have. And when I get there, I usually shoot outdoors. So I have a CPL ready to go and it's protecting. I don't use UVs. UV, that's the extra glass that I don't want on the lens to lower the quality of the image. So uh, CPL is on every lens that I have. And it's, it's first of all, a protector for the lens. And secondly, almost everything I do is outdoors. So uh, I know it costs more, but I hate the annoyance of step up rings. And I just like to know that I have something that's dedicated for every lens that I have. It's just higher quality. So there. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess that's it. Try to keep it simple for you. Really nice day. When it's windy, the sky gets really blue and really nice. And I, I wanted it to be a normal, ugly day where the sky is kind of white and colorless because then the polarizer really starts bringing out the blue. But. I don't have a lot of time. I got to get these videos out. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.